Welcome to the Circuito Estoril in Portugal for the final podium show of the 2020 Motul FIM Superbike World Championship. My name is Michael Hill. I'm going to take the liberty of jumping onto the top step, not because I'm a world champion, uh, I wouldn't even make it past the first corner, but because we've got a really special edition of the podium show for you here this weekend. The top three riders from the final race of the season, plus all of the prizes from the podium uh, will be brought to you live in this show. So, so much to look forward to. Thanks for joining us. Come with me as we go and have a look at some of the prizes. So you join me now behind the podium, uh, which is opposite the start and finish here in, uh, in Portugal. Just come with me and have a look at this because these are the trophies that are not normally presented on the podium, but because of the strict COVID-19 rules, no prize giving ceremony this year. But look at this, the World Championship gold medal that Jonathan Ray will receive for the sixth time, the silver medal from Scott Redding. What a sensational debut and the bronze medal by Chaz Davies, who uh, realistically uh, was nowhere at the beginning of the championship, was he? He was really struggling to find his form, found his form uh, by the mid-season and another top three medal for Chaz Davies. Uh, we'll be talking to all three riders plus the podium finishers from the final race of the season really, really soon. And in his final race for the Uruba IT Ducati team, the race winner, Chaz Davies! And the race winner's trophy presented by the president of the FIM to the race winner of the final race of the 2020 season, Chas Davies! It's time for the Prosecco Doc party for the final time here in Portugal. And uh, Chaz is uh, a little bit slow there with the Prosecco Doc. It's all kicked off on the podium. And now we welcome onto the stage the FIM, the Motul FIM Superbike World Champion of 2020 for the sixth consecutive season, the Kawasaki Racing Team, Jonathan Ray. I think we need to... Come on, baby! Let's go! All the support for champion six times in a row. Jazz, that's uh, mission accomplished. Uh, seven fantastic years with Ducati come to an end, but what a way to end it, mate. Another win, fantastic. Yeah, what can I say? It's just, um, as I said in the post-race interview, on the, sat there on the grid and all my guys that have been with me for so long and they've never, their belief in me has never wavered and they, they've all written really nice messages on, the, on my fuel tank. And I saw that only when I got on the bike, I didn't know they were gonna do it. So I got on the bike, went round for the sighting lap, sat on the grid for the warm-up lap and everybody's there in tears and, I, I'm starting to well up behind the sunglasses and, and hat. Don't start and crying now. I've used all my tissues in the bike <laughs> giving mate. So, was, and uh, I'm just there thinking, like, how am I supposed to supposed to be concentrating and going and racing superbikes in a minute? <laughs> this is not a good situation to be in. But anyway, push to the back of the mind. Let the red lights go out and uh, and let's go. So yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. What a legend. Let's hope he's on the grid next year. Come on, come on back inside. We'll try and have a catch up with Michael Rubin Rinaldi. He's the best independent rider. Garrett Gerloff has had a stunning weekend. He's in here as well. And uh, somehow still, uh, Leon Camion manages to get into the circuit. Um, after security, you've kicked him out five races in a row. I don't know what's going on. Come on. The last time we saw a 21 on the World Superbike grid, it was, of course, uh, Troy, uh, Troy Bayliss. Garrett Gerloff, what a stunning weekend uh, he had. Garrett, stick around, we'll have a big word with you. He's like, oh, he, he wanted to leave, he doesn't like talking to me, but we're going to make him stay. Uh, Michael always bring me around. I oh, know, sorry. <laughs> Let me just quickly finish with, with Michael. Big number on your shoulders, 21, TV, Troy Bayliss. Uh, are, are you thinking about that? I mean, you, you could win a whole load of new fans here. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, it's a big, uh, and it's, it's a big thing, but fortunately, I speak uh, two years 
years ago we tried the goodie book. Can I use this number? Yeah, for sure you can. And then after Argon Victory, he texted me, great job, put the 21 on top again. So I'm really happy. Uh, also because he's happy that I have 21. Nice, nicely done. Well, uh, have a good winter. And, Thank uh, you. Where do we get these from? Can we buy these? I quite like that. It looks really cool. I don't think I will use it on Saturday night party. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Cheers, mate. Bye. Cheers. Ta -ta. Thanks. Garrett yeah. Gurloff. Uh, That's a pretty nice shirt. I want one of those too for one. next year, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I've got to say, mate, what a stunning way to end the season. I know, I know you were a little no, bit from Motor America. We can crash out of the last race. That's not a good way to end the season, Michael. We weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about the first two races. But the point is, I know you, you did crash in the final race, but the point is you were right in the mix again, weren't you? That's the point. It's, it's a full weekend, like it was in Catalonia, like it was in, in France. You're not here just to make up the numbers, and you've proved that once again. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like we've, uh, like the last couple of weekends, we've really made like a, some, some big, big steps and oh, it just feels like, like such a relief and, and so amazing to, to be riding with these guys because, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of unreal because I, I used to just watch these guys, um, you know, from, from America, seeing, seeing and just being like amazed at how fast they were going and, and like, you know, looking up to them. And then it's so cool to, um, to just have been motivated to try to, to get to that point where I could be with them and to, and to actually get there has been, it's been super amazing. So yeah, this year has been, uh, has been crazy. <laughs> it's, it's been the biggest uh, adventure of my life and, and just so happy that uh, I didn't say no to the opportunity. Yeah, we're glad you didn't. It's great to have America back on the, on the, uh, the championship. And you know, you, Michael and Toprak, I don't know if you viewers watching this, but the first ever all Yamaha podium in more than 32 years of racing and whatever happens in the future, whatever you go on to achieve, you're part of that. I mean, that's superb, isn't it? Yeah, it's that fantastic. Cool. No, that was awesome. I, di I didn't realize that that was the first time that it ever happened. I thought for sure Yamaha would have had a bunch of those. But, uh, yeah, no, never before. Never before. No, that's, that's, I think it just shows how much Yamaha is putting put in, into their program in World Superbike and how, how dedicated they are to making the bike better and better every year. And um, and yeah, no, I can't I can't wait to see what they give us for next year because uh, I, I see everybody super, super motivated and, and with that look in their eye, you know, and so I, I'm hoping that next year we have, have something that, uh, that surprises people can you be the uh, next american world champion no pressure if i go down and put a cheeky 20 euro bet on are we are we, are we in the mix next year i mean can i be i feel like i can be will i be we'll see but but i feel like i, I feel like I, I can be there and fighting for it so so that's the goal just to be there fighting good job well, we look forward to seeing you have a good winter mate we'll see you so, next yeah, season appreciate it man thanks, Cheers, a lot. Mate. thanks mate Garrett Gurloff, one to watch in 2021. What a fantastic end to the season uh, he's had. And you may just see over my shoulder, Scott Redding is down here. Let's see if we can just sneak in on Scott just a little bit. All right, buddy. Yes. Look at that, like Long John Silver there, just hobbling <laughs> along. Yeah. How are you feeling? You've got the medal around your, uh, around your shoulders, the silver medal. I know it's not what you wanted, no. but do you know what? You could be happy with that car. You came in as the British Superbike champion. You're leaving as the vice champion and uh, loads of experience ready for next year. You're going to be in the fight next year, aren't you, for sure? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing to come back and be, you know, uh, at world level and to finish second in championship in your first year. It is great and a lot of people thought I didn't have the, the speed or the talent to even take it to Johnny at all, but I've had head-to-head -head battles with him, I beat him. We took it to the last round, which was some, it hasn't happened for many years. Um, yeah, we finished second, but that means there's one better to go next year and that's something that will keep firing me and the team. And yeah, it was a good year, hard year, uh, ended a bit, uh, I don't know, like acrobatic through the weekend, but to finish uh, second on the, in the last race was, was phenomenal and it was great to have Chaz win the race and I was really happy for him with that, more than my second to be honest, I just, a lot of emotion for him, he's such a great guy and to see him not have a ride for next year is quite painful for me, but you know, he really showed the type of rider he is out there. I know a lot of guys that would have gone out for that race and said, you know what, I, I don't, don't know if, need to. I don't know if Chaz actually heard you, but uh, he's calling you a great guy here, mate. I mean, there's some kind of bromance going on or what? See this hand? Yeah, just full of cash. <laughs> <laughs> just, give, just give me a good word. No, I was just Legend. saying... Best I was, ever. I was just saying... He said the same to you. He said exactly the same about you. It's, uh, I was saying there's a lot of guys today that would have, could have gone out there and been like, the championship's done, whatever, but you went out there and, like, with all the emotions you had, you went out... And, and tears and on the grid. And fucking, yeah, tears on the grid, but you went out and fucking won it, so... That for me is what I have big respect for, what I said to everyone, because I know in that position there was emotions, do you go for it, do you not, do you whatever, and you just fucking put the hammer down and dominated it, so I was really happy. Yeah, yeah. Very much.
Absolutely. Well, mate, it's been great uh, commentating on you, even though it's not been on the stage. It's been great chatting to you. And I know there's some f uh, funky stuff that you've been getting involved with as well, which is coming out in the future. So stay tuned to, uh, to World Superbike official uh, channels about that, because uh, there's something big coming uh, at the beginning of next year. But uh, from me here in Portugal, from Scott Redding, the vice champion, uh, this has been the final Motul behind the scenes podium show. We'll see you in 2021. Ciao.